everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a special guest, Emily, which I know you guys know who she is because <laughs> we have known each other for how long? It's been like four years? Oh my gosh, I think it's been like three minute. to four years, yeah. It's been a minute. So long. So, she's here today and we are going to be talking about some awkward, funny Christmas experiences that we have had. <laughs> because you guys know it's December. I'm not doing a Vlogmas Vlogmas, but we're doing some Christmas themed things. So I have a list of questions that we're going to talk about. So let's just jump into the first one. What would you rate Christmas on a scale of like one to 10? Like, is it your favorite holiday or like least favorite? I feel like when I was younger, it was like a 10. Yes. But then I feel like when you get older, like things just start to look different. I know. I don't know. Does it's just like sense? you're adulting and it makes you sad. Yeah. And also now that I'm older, I have to actually be the one to buy gifts. It's so not like my bank account is struggling. Whereas no, before, exactly. all you did was get gifts. And it was the most fun thing. And then your yeah. parents would let you choose gifts for your siblings. So you didn't yeah. actually have to buy them. Yeah, it was like all for And then me, all these gifts would just appear exactly. on Christmas morning. And now it's just like, oh. Now it's kind of lost. Now it, it's but like, I still love it. No, exactly. Now it's like you sent your mom the links to the stuff on Amazon. I know. Or whatever. So you know what you're going to get. Yeah. So it's like, ah, whatever. But we have some more spicy questions. Okay. So, what is the worst present? and X has got you on Christmas. I need to think about this. Give me one second. Go I have first. a weird one. I could go. Okay, so one of my exes one time got me this backpack and it had like a college logo on it. But it wasn't even my college. It was just like another college. And I found out that his dad just won it for free. No. <laughs> Like, it was a nice backpack and all, but, like, he gave it to me as a Christmas gift. Do you use it? No. I gave it to my mom. Oh, kind of good. A re-gift moment. <laughs> but it was, like, it was just kind of awkward because it wasn't my school, and then no, I knew he got it for free. I was, like, was the thought there? I'm trying to, like, think of, like, an ex that gave me a present, and, like, I literally can't. Or even current boyfriend, even been the D for a while. I, the thing about me is, like, uh -huh. I tell everyone exactly what I want. Like, that's good. It's, I'm that's so good. easy, and because everyone's like, I don't know what to get you, and so I will tell them. You're like, oh, give me this. I give them lists with links and everything, so it's, like, really hard to get me a bad Christmas present. I'm the, I'm the opposite. I never know what I want. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, just surprise me. One time I also got a set of knives. <gasps> that's terrible. You know, my mom did get me, like, these shoes once. They were mm -hmm. triathlete. Triathlete? Triathlete oh, yes. shoes. And I, I wanted these Nike, like, Roshis at the time and I she be obsessed. Dude, I wanted them so bad and she mm -hmm. gives me Nike triathlon shoes. And I was like, it's not even the same. You're like, like um, it's so different. Well, what's funny like, is those were probably so much more expensive than the I Roshis. Know. I did feel really bad, but I was like, girl, You're I gave like, you a oh. list. Like what with is, the links. With the link. With the links. Yeah. I've gotten some interesting gifts, but the knives were weird. But I but feel like so useful. useful. Yeah. Like I have used those so much. Like, like I would put that on my Christmas list today. Like now it's like more adult things though. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, I want a mixer. A blender. <laughs> yeah, nice I got a blender last year. Best gift ever. Sometimes it's just like weird growing up because it's like you go from like wanting little kid toys yeah. to just household items. Like I a know. nice vacuum. And it's the best gift ever. And you're like, yes, I cannot wait to clean <laughs> this. <laughs> like open so. it up and crack it. Okay, next question. What's your fave Christmas gift that you've ever got? Girl, I need to prepare for these gifts. <laughs> I should have sent you these questions. I'm bad because like I can think of stuff like right off the top of my I head. I can't because I just like, I think I have short-term memory loss <laughs> or like long-term. I just like don't remember anything. You just like forget things. I'll just say my favorite. You're gonna laugh so okay. hard. So it's this milk cup thing. It's called a moo mixer and I drink chocolate milk like oh, all the time. And so it looks like a cow print and then there's a button on the side so you pour your milk in and then like your chocolate syrup or like whatever your nose quick powder you press the button and it stirs it for you <gasps> do you still have it yes oh i keep buying God. new ones anytime one breaks I it's like a 13 dollar cup on amazon still my favorite gift to this day no i literally love that i did something similar i'm a girl of simple things <laughs> i got something similar but, but i made like mm. almond milk Oh yeah, it was like a like you can cool. make like almond milk your own almond milk. It was that's really cool. fancy. I know fancy stuff. That favorite gift, mm -hmm. or what's the best thing Adi's ever gotten you? Oh, Adi did get me my first designer purse. Oh. And it, I didn't literally have like two designer purses, so one of two. I think he got me both, but yeah, Aww. probably my favorite because it was just like, that's a good the way he boy. spent that much money on me. It was like really special. That's cute. I have gotten a bag bought for me once, and it's right. literally actually no, I have a few, but somehow I've never bought myself a bag. I've never, either. and I don't know how, but I have three designer bags. But it's that's been a like flex. it's been like gifts. Uh, one was a gift from someone, and then the other two were gifts from companies I worked with. That's such a flex. So I was like, yeah, like go off. Okay. 
Hey. Don't need to buy yourself a No, designer. exactly, exactly. Have you ever spent like Christmas Day with a guy? <laughs> My and, like, not with, Well, not with like your family. Well, it's different because you both live here. I know. I've Chris never been like with a guy on Christmas. I've always like spent it with my family. Yeah, I mean, I always like will yeah. be with my family on Christmas too, yeah. but it's so different for you and Nadine. You guys have been together forever. Yeah, but like even before, it was always like like I'll have yeah. a boyfriend come to like dinner with us. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. but will, I won't like leave my family to be with the okay. guy. It's yeah. like if they want to come, then they can come. Yeah, on like New Year's and stuff, like I would go and like be with their family. Yeah, yeah. But like Christmas Day, I'd always yeah. Be it's with just them. so much like it feels so cozy when you wake up on Christmas Day with your family. Yeah. Yes, it feels like yes. when Santa. I could never not be with my family. On yeah, Christmas. It like just that'd feels be weird. weird. Until like I'm married or something, but we all know that's not gonna be for a hot minute. Probably like 20 years. I'll be like Girl. 40 and married. Kind of cute. Um, there's just no prospects. <laughs> 40 year old future. virgin vibe. Oh gosh. <laughs> Next question. Best slash worst. Christmas date. Like, have you ever been on, like, a Christmas date that just went wrong? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> well, you thought of that one fast. <laughs> I know, because what happened? it's, like, kind of TMI. Oh gosh. But whatever. So, when we and my boyfriend first started dating, mm -hmm. um, we, when I wanted to go ice skating, and I wanted to go, like, downtown oh, yeah. LA ice skating, so it's, like, First off, downtown LA. <laughs> yeah, kind of not good, but I lived, like, at the time, like, 45 minutes from downtown LA, right? I had dinner with my family mm -hmm. before we left. We used to get this sushi restaurant that was like kind of not like the best quality sushi, so like whatever. Keep in mind, this is like me and D, like we. This is while you were still in high school. We were still in high school, so we had only been dating for like two months, I'd say. Like, yeah. So we oh have the sushi, God. and me and him, like he picks me up from my house, we drive, and I'm getting the worst stomach pains. Like, <laughs> you I, gotta go. I'm like in bundled clothes, because this is like Christmas time, so like we're going ice skating, like I'm in clothes, I'm sweating, I'm like, I'm not okay. Like, You're trying I, to play it off. Yeah, I'm like, I don't. I need to pee. Like, I gotta go pee. I have to go to the bathroom. Um, so we're gonna have to speed up this rodeo. So we get to the parking garage of this downtown LA ice skating rink. It's so sketch, like so sketch. I pop out. I'm like, I really gotta pee. I'm, I'm gonna get out to go pee. And he's like, okay, like um, I'll be in the car. Like. I'll wait for you outside. I was like, yeah, yeah. Um, go into the bathroom. Literally, you know. Oh, my no. body did not like the food. And then I got out and we went ice skating. Oh, and he, no. I don't think he knew. Like till this, like I think did I told him now? recently. Yeah, he never knew. I played off so good. But oh my I gosh, was so girls sick. are the best. I at playing things off like, yeah, I'm fine. No, literally. So. <laughs> oh my. God. And then I think the ice skating was like too booked up. Like. And then you didn't. Yeah, even get we to go. didn't even get to go. We just kind of vibed around in the area. Yeah. You're like, oh, whatever. It's fine. Yeah. I'm playing it off. Terrible. That's terrible. I don't think I've ever had that bad of an experience. <laughs> I'm trying to think though. I've never had anything done like special for me on Christmas. Oh, well, not Christmas. It's like Christmas <laughs> time. Yeah. No, I don't think I've ever. <laughs> we'll, we'll go. Because everything we did only for YouTube. Mm. So there's. So I'm gonna cry. <laughs> there's never any effort outside of. The... We're gonna go ice skating. Okay. Anyway. So I guess that's the bad experience. Maybe Next. like maybe another time I'll do something fun. Next question. Most cringy thing you've done during Christmas? Have you ever, like, you think back at something and you're like, why did anyone let me do that? I feel like, because I just have, like, old Instagram pictures of me, like, posing at, like, aunt and uncle's house and, like, in a... The elf, infinity scarf. No, like, the infinity scarf, an elf yes. hat, and I was just, oh like, heavily gosh. filtered, like... It's like I feel yes. like that, looking back, is, oh like, goodness. the fact that all my family saw me doing that, and then I no posted it to social you. media, and I just don't understand who let me yeah, walk around. Yeah, it's like... I did think I looked hot, so, I mean, that was the literally time. I think about times whenever I thought it would be funny to go Christmas caroling with my friends. I did this in college, so this was actually so, so fun. It was my freshman year of college. We made, like, eggnog and, like, apple oh, cider and stuff, and we spiked everything hardcore. It was, like, <laughs> me and my sorority sisters. And then we decided to go, like, Christmas caroling at, like, all the fraternities. And you know none of us could sing. No. But it was <laughs> so much fun, but looking back on it, I'm like, Gabrielle, why did you partake? That's that. so fun though. I but feel like in the Midwest there's so much more like holiday spirit. So much fun. Cause and it's like 
Oh, it doesn't snow where you're from, but, uh, like... Sometimes it would, but, like, it was just cold. Yeah, I just feel like it's just more, like, yeah. I don't know. It was so much fun, though. Like, looking back, that's so, so cringe, but at the same time, like, so, no, so fun. yeah. So, like that's, that's actually a fun Christmas experience, okay? This one's some tea. Air. Do you think a D would ever propose to you on Christmas? They've been together five years, guys. Or five or Yeah, more. five years. I don't... He's in the other room. You can I probably don't hear think so because I wouldn't like I I literally tell him how I want to get proposed and it just it it's has just nothing not that. to do with Christmas. Okay, that's good. Maybe um no no maybe it's gonna happen soon. Cause like what is he gonna like propose to me like just me Merry like Christmas. I need a photographer like it has to be all, set like, up. It needs to be it has like to be prepared. Yeah, like surprising. No, exactly. I'd be kind of mad if a guy proposed to me during the holidays. Right, because it's like an easy cop out. Like you just went with the easiest thing. And also you. You like I like Christmas as Christmas, not as like the day I get engaged. Yeah, you know? like you want that to be some random day. Yeah, I want it to be a day where they I have can to look try. To it. Yeah, exactly. Like I want to be difficult. Exactly. Not like difficult, but like I want a guy to like plan some stuff out. I agree. Fly in a photographer. No, literally hide someone. Like yes, everything. exactly. So so no Christmas. Yeah, if you're not. watching this city. Have you ever gotten in a fight on, with like an ex on Christmas? Me and my ex used to literally always fight so I'm sure you're like it was probably for something stupid but like I don't remember because yeah no, but probably not. yeah my thing was always like having to have a camera out all the freaking mm, time I'd yeah. just be like can we just have some quality time that like that bad. sort of thing but like never bad fights on Christmas like I, yeah, oh you, you didn't get me this for Christmas I'm so bad see no. that's what I that's no. how I am <laughs> And that's how you are. I just like no, like I wouldn't say gifts are my love language, but it is but something that I it. I appreciate someone thinking yeah. about what they would want to like give yeah. me out of love. Yeah. So then it's kind of like hurting. Yeah. So it's like you don't know yeah. me. Like you don't know what I would want. Like you don't want to like surprise me. Literally. Like, try. No, I get that. <laughs> Have you ever gotten like a weird Christmas gift from a fan? Or, like, weird messages on Christmas. No, I, I, like, don't have, like, P.O. Box or anything, so I wouldn't have gotten, like, a gift. I've gotten weird stuff. What? It was, like, literally around Christmas time, my sophomore year of, like, college, and I got this, like, random box of, like, used clothes just sent to me. Like, no letter, really? no nothing. And I was scared to touch them because I didn't know if, like, it could be laced with something or anything. So... How did they find, like... Well, I had a P.O. Box Oh, time. got you. Okay. And literally, no letter. <gasps> and then another time... And and again, around the holidays, someone sent me a, like, VHS tape. And then all, you know Einstein's, like, the puppet thing, like, that toddlers watch? Oh, like they little recorded, Einstein's? Yes, they <laughs> recorded every single episode. For you? For me. And I was like, oh, this is thoughtful. But at the same time, I was like, who spent the time? And it I'm was, like, scared. wrapped in Christmas like wrapping paper and so just since then I've, I haven't had a P.O. Yeah. Because I got started getting sent like weird yeah that, weird things. I would be so scared to have So I was box. like mm, maybe we're not going to do this anymore. Yeah I don't know about that. That is weird. The yeah. used clothes got me. No and I was like living with my roommates at the time and I was like what do I do with this? And they're like don't touch it. So what did you do? Just like send it donate it or something? Yeah I threw it away. Because <gasps> we were scared yeah. if there was going to be like stuff inside the bag. Yeah maybe they just genuinely like, wanted you to have their clothes. Like it was just like and out of the then we're like we don't know if there's like a tracking device like who knows if they drop like an air tag in oh, it oh yeah and so we're like we're gonna get rid of this and then the einstein thing we just thought was funny no that is we're like who did you watch did it this? no oh. but we just like opened it and then we were like looking through it that and we're like so there's no way i think one of my roommates did end up like plugging it in and playing it and it was the einsteins i kind of love that they picked that show like uh, so random. So random. I'm like, it's not like Vampire Diaries. It's not Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Yeah, that is so... Like, I just want to know what these people's, like, thought process was. Like, whoa. So that's an interesting one. But last question. This one's kind of a cute question. Have you ever been kissed under a mistletoe? No. Me either. <laughs> Me either. I'm like, I, do I buy a mistletoe? It's so like, like, yeah. And you're like, come on, honey. I feel like I always saw it in the movies, and I'm like, I just never see mistletoe just laying around like that. Neither like, have I. Like, what do you do? Like, get one from Amazon? No, I think so. Does it work the same? Like, like what is... It? Does the mistletoe grow in, a while, in the it, wild? It's giving like movie go vibes. Yes, like, some Hallmark vibes. Yeah. I love doing that on like a snow day or whatever. <laughs> on the rare days we would have them. My mom would turn on Hallmark and we'd make cookies. So good. The cheesiest movies. But oh like, like, terrible. Why I shed a tear every movie. Like, no, it always made me cry. The worst storylines 
it's so predictable. So predictable. But it's a Hallmark movie. It's so like, good. It gives yeah. Christmas. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out Emily's channel. It's gonna be linked down below. But also, let me know what videos you guys want to see next during this Christmas season, because there's gonna be a lot that are coming. Because I'm pre-recording these and forcing <laughs> myself to upload, so I don't have an excuse not to post. You got them. it, girl. So comment that down below. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.